Hey guys, once again we are playing FTL and this will be the second run. Uh, the first run, you can find it on my channel, I don't know, I'll put a link in the description or somewhere. And today we're going to be playing, oh my god the volume is a little loud, um, we're going to be playing with the Adjudicator, also known as the Zoltan Ship, also known as the, uh, the Flying Chop, there you go and enter there we go and the reason why we're playing with this is because look hang on if i read somewhere it, it did say here we go defeat the flagship with any layout of the zoltan cruiser to unlock the mantis cruiser so i haven't unlocked the rock ship the slug one the mantis or the crystal and to start unlocking them i need to basically do this little task here and yeah i have a couple of type b's and no type c's Anyway, let's, um, can I get off this? There we go, escape. Yep, so this ship is tragic. It's a pretty bad ship. The Zoltan people themselves are pretty bad. This missile thing is pretty bad. But we're going to see how far we get. So here we go. The data you carry is vital to re the remaining Federation fleet. I'll, we've read all this before. Let's bolster that. We're not going to read that. And I'm aggressively clicking my mouse, if you heard that. I'm very sorry. I, like, punched my keyboard there. So, well, it's a tough decision. Where should we jump to? Probably here, I'm thinking. Uh, okay, straight away, we're into a fight. And, oh, my God, what is going on outside? I'm sorry if you heard that. There was a man going absolutely nuts on a quad bike or a motorbike or something. I have no idea. How dare he? Right, so... Here we are in FTL once again. So we put this guy in here because the Zoltan people actually have the special ability of powering, um, powering systems. I forgot what they were called there. So we're going to power the old uh, Halibird beam. Halibird? Hal Halibird? I don't know, however you say. And we're going to slice this guy up and we're going to put auto fire on as well because we're lazy. And I've taken some power off the um, the med bay. Because this ship comes with very little power. You have to kind of rely on the uh, Zoltan guys. This guy's trying to jump away. Little does he know. His engines are blown up. So he's not going to be able to jump anywhere. Oh yeah. And also the one good thing about this ship. Is we have this. Which is a Zoltan energy shield. And it blocks anything. Any weapon at all. Whether it be missiles, anything like that, and it blocks them. So I think we got two fuel there, one missile, and some scrap. Is it worth going to the store yet? Probably not, because we want to build up a little bit more scrap, and then I can always jump back there. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. Oh my god, did I say that properly? It looks as if it were a fleeting... Fleeing? Oh my god. Okay, let's start again. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Oh my god, it's not too good. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure there's anyone on board. Let's howl them, so it'd just be like, uh, over the microphone, it'd be like, Hey, hey guys, anyone alive? Blizz. <laughs> as you howl the refugee ship, a slug ship jumps into the system. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport. And now they found you instead. What a guy. God, what a mean bastard. So let's um completely cut up all this like right across the ship. And they've got a little lazy beam themselves and a heavy um a heavy laser, I believe that is, yeah it is. Which does absolutely nothing to my Zoltan shields. And yeah, we just absolutely owned them in almost one shot. So there you go. We're going to sell this thing because, as I've said before, I just... Number one, if you was going to use missiles, you would not use this um, missile launcher because it's absolutely rubbish. So that's the slug guys gone. Two fuel, two um, missiles, and 22 scrap. Oh, the refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill... And seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. 
Oh, so we got three fuel, one drone uh, part, and 13 scrap. Very good. Let's head towards the store. Okay, so we're here at the store. And what can we buy? Well, we can buy Faras, <laughs> Debbie, Debbie the NG man. Engineman, or actually, it'll probably be a girl. A fire beam, which is absolutely junk. A heavy iron, which is absolute junk. And I don't really like whole beams. A weapon pre igniter. Now, that thing is amazing. And if we can get it, I'd be super happy. Because what it does, <clears throat> uh, let me try and explain what it does. So basically, after you make a jump, you know, you have to wait for your weapons to charge up. This thing completely ignores it, so you can open up all your guns and fire straight away. But we are 20 scrap short. Oh, I'm going to go here and jump back to the store, because it's absolutely amazing and it's kind of rare. So if we get 20 scrap, we're definitely attacking this. And we're going to try and blow the brains out, so here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to run into the rebels. That was that long sigh. That long sigh was a nervous sigh. Uh, everything seems to be going okay so far. Oh, look at that. One shot. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we've got plenty of money for this now. Okay, this is amazing. So we're going to sell this healing beam because that's crap as well. Oh, look at this, and we're only on the first sector. I've got good feelings about this run. Um, let's jump here. We've already been here, but don't worry about that. And now let's jump. Let's, let's, how, where can we reach this from here? Okay, let's have a little jump here, then we go here, then here, then up here, then... Maybe, maybe not up here, because we might strand ourselves. Let's jump here. Ah, oh, after a short time you receive a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This region is quite dangerous and our ship is not well armed. Yeah, go on then, give me some uh, petrol, a bit of diesel, and... Oh, I'm not taking you over there. That's ridiculous. Oh, I suppose we could make it in time. Let's have a go. He might give us something fancy. Purchase an unknown weapon. Well, I can't, so we might as well just attack you because you're pirates anyway. Uh, let's do a bit of this. Oh, look at that. Four rooms. And see what I mean? The weapon pre -igniter. I actually forgot we had that in that short amount of space. But look at that. Already, what can he do? He's been no oxygen, no weapons, and his drone's damaged. This guy's going to get absolutely wrecked. And he did. So there you go. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material every time. Every time. We didn't get the unknown weapon though. I'm not sure if you can actually even, if that's even a possibility. But we'll jump over here. Like, I'm not sure if it's possible if you attack it and destroy it to actually get the weapon. Okay. Oh my god, I've never seen mind control that early actually. It's a bit scary. Um, can we get this? Let's let's just no. Let's look. We're just gonna do this and look straight away. Yeah, these Zoltan guys, mind control is quite good against them because they only have 70 health. And in the new update, if you didn't know, if they die, they actually explode, which causes obviously more damage. And this guy's almost dead. Let's knock out this now. God, we've only taken one shield damage. And it's not even our proper shields. Okay, I'll take that back. Two. Two shield damage. Ah, oh, with the pirate ship destroyed, your ship system is restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can from the debris. Five fuel and 29 scrap. God, it's not bad. This is the first sector. Come on. <sighs> Do we want to risk going to this place? <sighs> Probably not. Because I can't... Hang on, let me... I'm using my fingers on the screen to work this out. So if we jump over there, they'll be there. No. 
definitely not. I don't want to run into the rebels this early because we don't have good enough weapons. When your FTL is charged, you can go to the next sector. No, we do not need any fuel. Look how much we have. Ignore the station. Oh man, we can't even jump there. Good job I didn't go over here. We would have been completely owned within the first sector. Okay. God, what a tough decision. Either the pirate controlled sector or the pirate controlled sector. Actually, I think we go for this one because then we can choose whether we want a green one or a uh, hostile one, a red one, um, depending on how much life we have and stuff. And then we can jump to a green one and then we have all these choices. So let's go here. Now, last time I only got to the second sector, which is probably one of my worst runs ever. But we was using a ship that had no shields, so... I search the ship. Oh, you find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal. <gasps> the crystal cruiser. Before you have a chance to dock, a few asteroids get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You'll have to pull out. Five damage to your hull. Come on. Let's fix this and then we can move on. And these guys are done. And we should actually save their positions as well so we can return them quickly. Let's go to the store. We've got 80 scrap. That should should be enough. Elizabeth or Trico? Do we want one of those? Not really. Oh my god, look at this. Combat. Drone 2. I don't really want to use drones. Although we might... Do we want mind control? Hacking's good as well. Should we... Wait, so it lasts 10 seconds when you fully upgrade it. What's that? One, and two, and three, and I just hit my microphone. That's pretty good. Mind control, though. What is mind control? How long does it last? Mind control one person, yeah? For how long? Hmm. Well, hacking uses drone parts, and we've only got four. Let's let's get the mind control. Why not? Why not? Let's go to this distress place. Uh, send your crew in to help control the crowds. We might lose someone here, which is not what we need, really. Let's do it. Let's risk it. Your crew tries to keep the crowds in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crows with fear, the infected grab mining tools and push back at your crew, forcing them to retreat hastily. They barely get away without injury, but the, the same can't be said for the colony's leaders. You quickly leave. Oh god, whoops, we accidentally... Well, we kind of mucked that up, didn't we? Oh well, as long as everyone's alive. A ship with... Conspicuous, conspicuous. Oh my god! Seriously, when I ever I record, I become a dumb person. Uh, a ship with conspicuous pirate markings in is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. Four. We can't buy a lot with seven scrap, but let's have a look. The ship responds yes we have an extensive stock come aboard and see our wares god this, <laughs> this guy sounds dodgy we, we are getting away this seems dangerous the pirates reveal hidden weaponry and sets off in pursuit what bastard he was trying to have us on there and we can't actually mind control anyone because yeah we can't actually detect the rooms whoops didn't mean to do that so let's actually unpower this and just slice these guys up like that. There we go. Oh no, and because I didn't power my weapons from before, the uh, weapon pre-igniter didn't work. Well, it shouldn't be a problem though. God, all we need now is cloaking, I reckon, and we could defeat the uh, the final boss. Oh yeah, look, mine controls up here. I didn't see it there. And come on. Come on. Actually, if we get a slug crew member, then that mind control might become a little bit more effective because they can detect uh, life forms, can't they? No, no. You you try to rip us off. You, we're not. No, absolutely not. You're dead, mate. Yeah, what was I talking about? 
I can't remember. Oh yeah, if we have a slug crew member, we can detect the life forms in this ship and we can mind control them, rather than having someone uh, manned on our sensors. And they're dead. Three fuel, one drone, and 23 scrap. Which isn't actually that much better. And here comes that dang guy on his motorbike again. Jesus Christ. Um, okay, where should we jump to now? Maybe kind of round here? Maybe? Yeah, let's jump here first. Oh no, worst decision ever. We're in an asteroid field against our fellow, our fellow Zoltan people by the looks of it. And we're just, oh, we just blast them here. Look at that. Oh look, straight away Zoltan shield's gone. Asteroids flying around. These guys are dead. Oh, what's this? This is one of these new uh, iron stunners. I don't really understand what the difference is between them and the uh, ion, the normal ion things. I don't know what those do, really. No, that's it. Look, you decided to fight us. I'm not going to accept surrender. No mercy, as they say. This guy's getting owned by asteroids, actually. God, are we on, this, are we on the second sector yet? I think we are. Oh wait, if we're on the second sector, should I have not stopped the video a little while ago? I probably should have. Well, let's uh, let's stop the video here because I don't want it to get a really long video and we'll continue next time. So thanks for watching guys, tune in for next episode.